Hi folks, more on smiles. I posted recently about smile controls and I wanna talk about another category of behavior where people add things to their smiles to change them. And I just wanna start up front to say that these additions or extra actions that are added to smiles are not necessarily done intentionally. They could be habits that have developed over a lifetime or sometimes a certain behavior will activate these muscles in addition to the smile muscles. So I'll break that down. First of all, what are things that people do to augment their smiles, make them bigger, exaggerate them? Uh, one set of behaviors that people use could be focused on the upper lip, actions that, fo that lift the upper lip. So if we think about a smile, a classic smile is gonna involve contraction of this muscle, zygomaticus major, and it'll bring the lip corners up obliquely, raising the cheeks, stretching out the lips like this. And if the lips are apart, you know, so that's in fact, that's action unit 12. And if the lip lips are parted, uh, which they often are, we would add action unit 25 like this. Now, when people are really feeling happy, they usually contract the outer portions of orbicularis oculi or action unit six like that. And just adding six actually to a smile augments it. Watch how six, which is these lateral portions of obicular, uh, obicularis oculi, pulls obliquely here in this area of the cheek, middle part of the nasolabial furrow lifting up, and it pulls the upper lip up a little bit. So when I have a, a 12 by itself with 25, and I add a six, you see this little lift to the upper lip. Most of that is coming from AU6, which lifts obliquely, because that can kind of activate um, Zygobanicus minor, which is underneath here. But six is working with obicularis oculi on the lateral outer rings. Okay, so that's not even adding anything, because a lot of, um, many of you are familiar with the fact that adding AU6 to a smile is what's a, a characteristic of an enjoyment smile. The work by Evan Ekman, Davidson, and Friesen in 1990 was the first publication on that. And that's another topic. But let's say you're just working with this kind of smile. What kind of actions do people add to make it bigger? One thing they do is um, these upper lip lifts. So I mentioned six, but that's just part of the enjoyment smile. Um, some people add an action unit 10, which is something that I do. Action unit 10 works with this branch. It's, it's of um, levator labii superioris that, that sort of um, originates here and attaches here near the, near the nostril wing so that when it's lifted, it does that by itself, you know, the bent nasolabial furrow. But I'm one of these people who adds it to my smile. Look at this. I almost always add a 10 to my smile and, and often it's without intentionally doing so. Another thing people add to smiles that lift up in the upper lip is action unit nine, which is levator, lab levator labii superioris aliquae nasi, which is a, another branch of the muscle. So 10th right here, nine runs along the length of the nose. So when it contracts, the nose wrinkles like that. A lot of people add this to smiles. Sometimes it's kind of like, a little wink, or sometimes it's actually engaged when people are really laughing and all of this is constricting because when this part of the face all constricts, it often activates nine. And I'm going to show you a picture of this right here. See that? See Obama? He's cracking up here and there's a lot of eye constriction. His upper lip is lifted and there's activation of AU9. So that's kind of an involuntary with an intense feeling. Nine is also a component of the pain face and the orgasm face. Interesting, huh? Okay, so those are upper lip things. Now, um, lower lip. We have um, actions that lower the lower lip, in particular, um, FAX action unit 16, which is lebida, um, levator, wait, wait, depressor labii inferioris, brings down the lower lip. This is AU16. See how I'm adding that and exposing lower teeth? A lot of smiles don't involve the lower teeth because zygomatic pulls out this way. So you have to make an effort to show lower teeth. I've seen this in a lot of people where they, it's their typical smile or it's a smile when they're posing that they've learned over a lifetime to include um, AU16. Another thing people do with their mouths or additional actions they add to enhance or exaggerate or maximize the smile 
is action unit 20, which involves a contraction of the rosorius muscle pulling this way. So if I do a 20 with my lips parted, it looks like that. But if I add it to a smile, it's like that. It's again, separating the lips more, stretching them out. And I've seen this in a number of um, models, celebrities, and maybe it's a condition thing that people do to learn how to smile bigger. So I'm gonna show you Again, to summarize, an upper lip raise um, with AU10 as a smile augment, um, uh, lowering the lower lip with AU16, or adding AU20. I think I added a little 10 there too because it's my habit. Anyway, um, so those are some ways in which people augment smiles. Again, sometimes this is automatic, sometimes it's voluntary, but it's another interesting category of facial behavior.